really love seaweed and uh, it's good to collect seaweed on a low tide so that it's as clean as possible and I really love this seaweed it's called bladder rack seaweed and it has these little pockets of serum inside and you can use the serum on your face to actually shield yourself from the sun's rays and uh, I took a seaweed class uh, quite a few years ago and she told me that they use the serum in bladder rack seaweed in cancer research and um, when I put this seaweed in my bath water all of the serum from the pockets leaks out into your water and you come out of the bath feeling like a baby and uh, seaweed also has iodine so it's really good if you have autoimmune or thyroid challenges and there are just a million benefits of seaweed and I love it. <laughs> that big tree is leaning up on the cliff over there. I used to live there right with that tree. There's an eagle's nest in that tree and I used to live there with uh, my familiar before Banks, Noel, and I really miss it, <laughs> obviously. There was no place like it to see the full moon rise over here and the fog would come right up to my house and it was just so nice i really really miss it but now i'm in a forested area which i love to it's like give or take but um, i love to come up here and sometimes i see the eagles that lived with me and it's it's really special it's a really magical place over here <laughs> Gently's YouTube channel, which is Bonnie Wright um, from Harry Potter. She gave the tip to try and just pick up five pieces of garbage when you go to the beach because there's so much more garbage than that and it can get overwhelming when you want to clean it up but you can't. So I try to pick up five pieces of um, garbage when I come to the beach and I can see a bunch of microplastics and so I'm gonna take them home with me. Pretty sure that this is an eagle feather. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm just setting myself up to have a really chill night and journal with the seaweed that I collected. I've let it dry. I didn't press it this time. Sometimes I do that, but I wanted to just have some floating texture on the page. And so now I'm going to journal about my seaweed and make a and make a page for my spell book, my book of shadows. But before I start journaling, I wanted to show you something that my best friend gave me last night. She had this painting um, commissioned of me, Binks, and Winnie, and I'm still in shock. <laughs> it's so beautiful and so thoughtful, and I can't wait to put this up in my space. I've just been staring at it since last night. Um, it's just so beautiful and I feel like it is inspiring my creativity. I'm just gonna lean it up um, next to my candles while I journal and just stare at it. I just think it's so beautiful and uh, I'm, I'm just so grateful to have this. meaning of seaweed. I know what it means to me and what it has meant to me on my spiritual journey but I just wanted to look a little bit deeper and so I found this resource that said um, that old witches call seaweed the lady's tree and so I wrote this poem that was inspired by the kind of invocation of that feeling of the lady's tree. With the waking of a witch and the powers of the sea, there is a conjuring within me at the root of the lady's tree. I think it's really grounding when you write something that just feels like home within you, and that's what this feels like. Why can you see me on my knees for you, baby?
forest and I've just made an offering to the forest um, with a bird's nest that I've had for quite a long time and the eagle feather that I found down at the water and so I've returned those back to nature and I've added a rose quartz crystal to it as well and I've just put it next to my little um, Binx statue my angel cat I was just picking blackberries and the fog started to roll in and it was so magical. There's just something so beautiful about fog. Uh, it's like the top 10 favorite things in the world is fog. I really, really, really love this time of the year. Early September when the fog is rolling in but it's still really warm and the earth is still really green but the orange leaves are starting to fall it's just such a grounding time of the year I really love that I really love this transition of the seasons Maybon is just around the corner and I'm really looking forward to it that's just one of my most favorite times of the year and so thank you so much for coming on this fog and seaweed journey with me and I will see you next time